test, mic test. How are my audio levels doing? Let's jump into the game. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Vess, appreciate it. I've been having a lot of fun putting out this content, to be honest. Hey Arif, how's it going? Thank you for joining the Reddit server, by the way. That's cool. Oh, I haven't looked at the theory posts yet. I don't have, um, I'm new to Reddit, so like I, I don't check it as much as YouTube. Magnamic, what's going on, man? Mike working, that's always good. Carson King, how's it going? Another OG. <clears throat> okay, so, um, someone commented, can you, can you play through the game, like, not attacking anything and only using retributions? So that's what we're going for today. I'm just gonna start a new, a fresh. Actually, let me check my everything's at 100. Okay, cool. We're gonna start a fresh new demo playthrough. Also, I haven't figured out uh, how to get my Dual Sense Edge to work with the layout, so I'm just using the, my normal Dual Sense right now. <laughs> Professional. I gotta have like a transition where during cutscenes I'll just turn that on. By the way, I'm so ridiculous. I ordered the um <laughs> I ordered a, hold on, this lower that slightly. Yeah, so I ordered a um a stream deck. Just so I can have better streams when I do stream. And it comes in tomorrow, so I'm excited to go with it. Read it to the break. I become a professional and I have my stream deck, I'll be able to set up different, you know, voice levels. So my audio is always consistent <laughs> for recordings and streaming. Zero seven five three one, pod landing wire. Physical shield jago, hatch open. Or you can fail it. Either way, the cutscene continues. Yes. 
Hold on, talk to each other one second. Okay, so the door on the door it says it says Eve Protocol. Uh, and then and then something squadron, I guess her squadron, and then it has the um, number 12, or not 20, 12, it says 22 in Roman numerals. But it's really hard to make out. Oh, commando, it says commando squadron, or commander squadron, something something unit 22. So yeah, that's the door, that's what it says on the inside of the door. And for Taki, uh, let's see if I can find a... You said it was on her leg? Mm. Mm, it's hard to make out. Let's just go through and see if maybe if you can catch it on the cutscene, I'll go back to that first. Let's go back to the game. I'm sorry, I forgot. I was I was so focused on um, <laughs> other stuff. Let me restart. I don't want to restart because the problem is um, we have to go through that whole cutscene. But for the game or for the boss, I will only do retributions. I failed the retribution challenge. Only. Honestly, okay, let's do this again. Hold on. Okay, this 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 first part was just bush league because the audio is all messed up. I'm not sure what's what's wrong with the audio though. I'll try to figure this out as quickly as I can, because I've got audio is only coming from the capture card. I'm here sitting around like negative 25 on OBS. The game is not even picking up on the audio levels. Hmm. Mic is too low or audio is too high. All right. Okay, well I'll turn myself up. I'll turn myself up a lot. Let me know if this is better. In fact, I'll go all the way up here. I'll try to go towards the extreme. And if this is good, then we should be okay. And then the game, I can't really put it much lower than this. That's crazy. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Can you guys hear me over this? Because, because I, on OBS, I don't see... Like, I barely see anything showing up for the game audio. Okay, you can hear me? Awesome. 
Alright, I think we have it figured out this time. Again, I'm gonna try to not kill anything. Better but still loud. Alright, we'll see how it how it is after. We'll see how it is after the opening section. The opening section is just more loud. Too. At any rate, I think that I think that I have to kill the enemies in the very beginning. But I'll try to run away from them. With the skin suit, I, I'm not gonna use the skin suit on my channel. There's like tons of people that that's all they're doing, so there's other channels for that. Here, a streamer, do you guys use OBS or Streamlabs OBS? Because I don't know if there's actually a difference. But if Streamlabs is a better version, I you know, I, I want to figure out these audio levels. Right now, it looks like the game is muted on my screen. It's like nothing's coming out of the game for me from what I've seen. Can I share theories in the chat, or do people want to go in blind? I think probably keep it. I think probably keep it blind for now until at least the game comes out. Because I know there's probably a lot you can analyze from the trailers. Hello, how are you doing today? Doing not bad. How about you? I'm just recovering from a sickness, so my voice might be a little bit rough, but we're improving every day. Skin suit is overrated, I agree. But you know, luckily I'm gonna be trying I'm gonna be trying to do lots of no damage stuff, in which case losing the shields doesn't even matter as far as like extra difficulty. Just in time, hey glad you can make it, coach. I mean, maybe it's not overrated, maybe it's properly rated. I mean, it is just fan service for a very specific set of people. So, you know, if it gets sales, that's sales. Nothing better than some good fashion, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, right, we're not killing guys. Can I just run away from them? Let's try. Actually, I'm sure Taki will take care of them, to be honest. Taki is a beast. Look at her attacks. Some of her attacks look super cool. By the way, we're doing a passive just to try to get this thing in. I'm trying to only kill enemies that are necessary to kill to progress. That animation is really good. Whoa, do they keep spawning? Alright, it's not letting me progress forward. Let's just try to walk forward anyway. Let's try to get the cutscene to happen. Okay, the, the game did not like that. It did not like that at all. I, I think I have to kill this guy. Normally there's just like three guys and then you can continue, but he kept respawning. I'll try one more time. It's cool that she has dialogue just for specific situations. Like They're just gonna keep respawning, okay? I think this is already... I think this is already impossible. And I mean, honestly, the bosses are gonna be the more like fun thing to be pacifist. She's completely ignoring the one chasing me. 
completely ignoring me. That's so funny. Okay. That guy, we gotta kill him. And we only get away with killing him. She still doesn't want me to do this. Okay, and the new dialogue, and then she asks to record it. Alright. Oh, good question, Bess. I'm doing the flavor text video as soon as my voice is, like, better. Like, way better. Uh, I'm still taking it easy a little bit, like, I'm not gonna be that animated in this stream, because, yeah, I'm trying to save myself a little bit. Once I can talk, like, for a while, I'll be reading all the flavor text, because there's a lot of it. Yeah, I, I guess I could block. I, I actually kind of forget that blocking's a thing in this game, because I'm not even But I can't kill this guy because we're doing retributions. Retributions are alive. Not every enemy has a stability bar though. And yeah, the demo it does carry over into the full game, so I do have a hundred percent walkthrough video. Uh, that shows literally every pickup that you can get. Even like random little money drops. Can you use unlock outfits in this playthrough? Other than watch challenge? No, there's no outfits to unlock in the story or like the story mode. Whoops, I can't get that out. Okay, not gonna kill him. So I just nudge him. I think I will have to kill him. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to progress. So that guy, you can retribution, no problem. This guy has no stability, so I cannot retribution him. So I'm gonna try to run away. And maybe talk to him with him. Okay, let's go, Taki. Well, I was hyped. I hate it. I'm pretty sure I just got experience from first kill. This guy normally doesn't spawn. I'm pretty sure they're respawning. So I'm really want to kill guys. You check the website, some of the burst attacks look insane. Yeah, I'm excited about the burst attacks. I mean, it's a whole mechanic that's not even in the demo. Alright, these guys are normally not here. Normally, there's only like two or three of the holders. And this tall enemy. And they're like, two or three. Okay, talk about him. Good stuff, good stuff. I have my HUD set to dynamic, by the way. Because I figure more people will you know, not want that in the way than most of them. There's a speed running tactic you can use to get out of bounds and explore outside the demo boundary, maybe. Possibly. Oh, you don't like the screen shake? You can turn that down, by the way, in settings. But I'm just playing everything default because that's how most people would probably experience the game. And I figure not everyone's gonna, you know, mess with that too much, so I'm just leaving this up default for now. But you can customize it up to 10 levels, actually. So if you want, you can just have a little bit of screen shake. By the way, where did you guys pre-order your games? Did you go digital or physical?
이부, 이부, 정신 차려. You guys want digital? Yeah, for the digital deluxe, that's the only. I'm pretty sure there's no way to get a physical copy with the deluxe, you know, stuff. I guess because it's going to be DLC. Maybe. Digital, I like having it as soon as possible. I, I totally feel that. I was considering getting a physical... I mean, I'm ordering a physical copy. But I was considering also getting it digitally because... Uh, when the game comes out, I'm not going to be home, so... I'm playing it on uh, an Asian region of this map. So we're doing only retributions here. So yeah, that's how it's going I think it's going to take about three retributions, probably. So that's like a third of his life points. Two more, I guess. Oh man, we got hit here. One more, one more should do it, no problem. This was the hardest boss <laughs> for, um, for my no damage video because I had to sit through the cutscene every time, which is like two minutes. Bayonetta, that's a great debate for future, you know, foreign posts and stuff. Did I see the- I didn't notice the opening gate on the side. But there are like out of bound like invisible walls, so I'm pretty sure you're stuck in the arena. Because you kind of have to fight him. If you if you just die to that boss, by the way, it still progresses and the cutscene continues. The music in this game is amazing. Can you guys can you guys actually hear the game? I mean, I trust you, but OBS shows zero audio coming from it. So I don't know what that's about. Ibu, okay?
My voice is still low. Okay, I can raise that. Raise it a little bit there. This is the first game I'm buying both versions, digital and physical. I love it. I love the dedication. That's awesome. I'm definitely buying it twice. But I don't know if I'm doing two physical or one, digi one digital, one physical. Honestly, I'll probably get two physical versions. <laughs> two physical versions. Just have one Asia region copy and then my American copy. Okay, now my voice is good. Awesome. Yeah, these audio levels are not intuitive. Well, it's, to me, it looks like the game's muted, and I'm like way too loud, but as long as it works. The monster design is awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. There's a video showing off like the intricate 3D models they printed, and then they scanned them into the game. Anyway, that's one boss out of the way, passive this challenge, accomplished so far. Only had to kill a few enemies. You purchased a brand new PS5 just for this game? Microsoft are fumbling. Well, I hope you enjoy the console. I, I've only had mine since November, and you know, I'm having a lot of fun with PS5. Because I'm a PC gamer through and through. Is the Korean version better than the English version? Subjective, but I think so. You know, I just like Korean. I mean, I studied it for a while, so it's like, cool just hearing more of it. Plus, it's a Korean game developer. It's a Korean game developer, so I feel like they'd have more control, or maybe more. I mean, they can kind of fine tune or tell the voice actors better what they kind of want to accomplish. How do the different graphics modes look? I was gonna make a video comparing them, but I I just can't do what Digital Foundry does. So honestly, I feel like. Pretty soon, I feel like they'll make a video comparing the different modes. But I don't think there's any ray tracing. Not that I noticed. Uh, at least in balanced. I'm playing in balanced right now, that's what this is. Try Death Stranding. I have it downloaded. I saw the trailer for the second one, it looked cool. Oh, hey, I'm Korean. Hwa. Okay, let's continue with our pacifist challenge here. Oh yeah, I wanted to show off a bunch of stealth kills, so... I'm gonna be doing stealth kills. Let's see, do I have to kill these guys? Because I need this. But I'm in combat, so... I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick that up unless I lure them really far away. Okay, if I get them like all over here... Maybe I'm far enough now. Oh, that is not good enough. Okay. We're gonna try farther. The story seems so interesting. Yeah, uh, apparently, Shift Up's other game, um, uh, it's like, I, I'm not, I forgot what it's called, but it's like some, is it an MMO? I don't know. I've heard through my comment section that there's a ton of plot or dialogue and stuff. And so since it's like plot rich, this should also be plot rich. And from what I've seen so far in the demo, like all the flavor text and descriptions, it is super plot rich. So yeah, I'm extremely happy about that. And I can't wait to, you know, make the videos about the lore. At this point, my cough is basically gone. I'm barely coughing now. But I still sound a little bit rough, so I don't really want to record a long voiceover where I sound like this. Yeah, I cannot get out of combat. What if I hide? Ooh, hold on. Okay, you hid behind the shelf a little bit, and we got the code. But now, I have to also be out of combat for the door to let me open. 
goodness, what a problem. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try hiding again. Are they chasing me here? Dude, get a life. What do you guys want from me? Alright, I... It might be possible, but... Whatever. gonna give up on these guys for now. You know, the more interesting thing is gonna be the bosses anyway. I feel like that's gonna be more cool to watch. Uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, Roa Roa. It seems like these letters, by the way, are in random positions. Every time I've gone through the demo, every time I've gone through the demo, it's like different. If you missed my 100% walkthrough video, by the way, over in this area is the Tumblr expansion module. So when you play through the demo, since the stuff carries over, make sure you come here and get this expansion module because by default, we've got a three. Oh my gosh, I'm fighting these guys, I'm sorry. All I'm doing is killing this guy for the module. Okay, we got that runaway. Oh, you know what? I'm, I I can't do full passives anyway, because I, I really want to show off the stealth kills. I have a video queued up. It's like set to upload later. But um, it's just a bunch of stealth kills. And I'll show you guys some of it here in this, in this live stream. But once we upgrade Ambush... This ability, let me show you the abilities. This thing right here, Ambush, it's a backstab and it's a one-shot kill. In the demo you just start with Assault, which is an aerial one-shot kill basically. But once we get the Ambush, you can do a lot. Like a surprising amount. I'm not even going to activate the camp. Oh, I have to activate the camp, that's right. Okay, never mind. We gotta kill these guys, and just have to activate the camp. Because otherwise, Adam is like, don't you want to rest? Resting is part of the journey. Oh. Like, oh, the camp's over here. Why not rest for a minute? So, okay. We'll humor you, Adam. I love these flashbacks too. The flashbacks are so cool. Music gives you chills every time, same. Which outfit for Eve do you like the most? Me personally, I have a soft spot for the color red. Yeah, the red racer one is really cool. My favorite one is just the black suit with the orange stuff, the, the, the glowing orange stuff, because it looks like Taki suit a little bit. So I like the black suit, it's pretty hype. I genuinely appreciate that you've sacri sacrificed up to your PS5. Yeah, dude, it's been... I mean, this demo is so worth replaying. I highly recommend, if you play through it once and you're like, eh, this is alright, just play through it, like, at least one more time. Because it gets so much better. You know, this game, Stellar Blade, is like... <clears throat> it's not like DMC and Bayonetta where those games are execution based skill, like the skill ceiling is all execution based. Um, it's just knowledge based for the most part. Like all the inputs I'm doing, oh I'm so sorry, I forgot that I don't have my controller capture on. All the inputs I'm doing are not even that complicated. Well, I can buy Assault now, or Ambush. So like anyone can do what I'm doing, you know, once you have just a little bit of practice with the bosses and stuff. Alright, so we got Ambush. So here, let's get this guy to walk over here a little bit and hide. I want him to get a little bit closer and then start walking backwards. Stop. Don't chase me that hard. Just kind of forget about me for a moment, please. Okay. I think he's fed up. He's just about done. Oh no, it didn't work. Hold on, we'll do it again. I swear it worked for me earlier. 
I just rushed it a little bit, so all these spiders are back. At some point, he will stop chasing me. Actually, this is a good test because all my testing was with one enemy, so I don't know if if I... Because I'll be engaged in combat with these spiders, but not that guy, so can I still ambush him? But the answer is yes, you can still ambush him, even if you're technically in combat with other enemies. Just the enemy that you're trying to backstab cannot be in combat, so that's cool. Oh my goodness, hold on, what? I didn't even notice that, but I had an assault prompt just from up here. Oh, we gotta do that again, that was, that was awesome. If I can get that on video, it'd be really cool. Hey, that's awesome. We got an assault kill right there. So, that's pretty cool to show off. I'm in combat so I can't open this, just forget it. I don't even want to open it. We'll just progress. I really like that animation, looks awesome. Eve like kicks her sword up out of the enemy's body. We're gonna keep going, try to kill all these guys with assault. Should be out of combat. That guy's definitely not in combat. And then this dude, we wanna lure him over. I haven't played Sekiro, but I know that that game has stealth and stuff too. So similarly, we've got like these awesome one-hit kills. Do I think this will sell well? I am very confident it will sell well actually, because this game is... It has a lot of elements that appeal to a wider audience than even something like, I don't know. Even something like the Dark Souls games which were very successful. And it has elements from that. Like everything about it, it just feels like a seller to me. Okay, we wanna de-aggro this guy. I'm gonna run away for a bit. Hide over here. Okay, turned around. That's the ambush. So it works on these hydras too. In this box, this is an important one to get because it has the only combat gear you can get, and an Omni Bolt, but the only combat gear you can get in the demo, which is this combo attack enhancement gear. So, we want to equip that. It's a good one. Makes your combo attacks level 2 or higher, you know, higher damage. There's a little spider over here also. I want to get this guy over here. Just so we can start walking backwards. And walk back to his post. Is this far enough? No, he's still chasing me. Okay. This guy really wants my blood. I'm running out of room here. Damn, dude, you went across the map? Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. I'll wait for him on the bridge then. I'll wait for him on the bridge just because he's got to cross back. The enemies seem to go back to their spawn positions, so... Okay, the music changed, so it should be fine now. As soon as he's out in the open, we can get that stuff here. You already have the digital deluxe ordered and are getting a physical copy for your collection. That's that's the way to do it. Yeah, physical games are just cool. There's like seeing them. So far we've succeeded in stealth killing about everyone. Fusion? 
지구의 밤은 아직 어둡지 않지 아, 인피니티 셀의 전세대 버전이구나 잘 챙겨둬 지상에선 귀한 물건이니까 Okay, here is this enemy. Alright, so again, we're kind of just going to kite him over here. We're not going to go all the way back to the bridge though, don't worry. We're not going that far, but we are, we are kiting him for a little bit. And I'm taking him to this special area over here. By the way, those barrels, you see those, uh, those red barrels? Those things do a lot of damage. If you can, it's it's worth, I think, trying to lure enemies into them. Alright, so he's gonna kind of give up after, after a while, after he realizes, oh yeah, I can't climb up there. Wow, it makes me so happy hearing like m many of you are getting two copies of the game. That's so cool. I really would love to see Shift Up just do more of this. Whether it's DLC, like a DLC campaign, or a prequel. You know, we don't know that much about the story yet, but it feels like there's prequel material there. I mean, there's like... The game starts and there's just so much happening already, you know? Okay, let's aggro this guy for one moment. You can just kind of play the game this way, like if you don't want to, if you enjoy, like if you like playing Spider-Man, doing stealth takedowns for everyone, you can kind of just do that. For like, for a lot of enemies. But then there's the, you know, the ambush, like here coming up we get into an ambush situation. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to get out of combat for this one, so here I'm going to have to fight. Tell me I'm sorry, I'm so ignorant. Is Lily another biblical name? You know, obviously we've got Adam and Eve, but is she also some kind of something? Yeah, so as you can see here, there's an invisible wall, so I can't go back to my spot. And I don't think there's another um, airborne area. Like, even this dumpster, I can't reach that. Oh, hold on, we can use these barrels, though. That's kind of pacifism, isn't it? These barrels are sort of like pacifism. Not, I'm not really killing them, they're killing themselves. Okay, let's go. That was... that was pretty good. Uh, are there any more barrels? Yes, there are. We just gotta be smart with them. There's not that many. There's only one left. Oh, there's two left. Oh no, there... I need to get them towards the barrels, please. They're still near this one. Okay, that's one. Oh no, I don't think. Did that kill someone? I'm not sure. There's two left. But I'm out of barrels, so. You know, if you optimize that, like if you're just perfect, you could probably get all the barrels. But we do need to progress, so I'm just gonna use that. So we can spawn this giant here. Oh, Lily is Lilith? Okay. First wife of Adam. Oh, alright. Okay, so for this guy, I don't think I can... Like, I don't have enough space to run away where I can exit combat. I can't climb up here, there's an invisible wall. Um, even if I run across the map to the other invisible wall, which is here, there's no escaping combat. So I don't think I can actually stealth kill this guy. I'll try one more time. I'll try to get him right on the wall and then run away. Or, actually, let me try, let me try something else. Let me try downing him. <clears throat> Let's see if I can down him and then run away. Whoops. 
Got him not back here. That's my Q. Goodbye. I'm gonna go all the way over here to see if he forgets it forgets about me. Oh no, even from hiding in the bushes, he just he just knows. He just knows. Okay, I I don't think I can escape this guy. Alright, whatever. That was a normal parry, by the way. So even if you're normal parry, you're like, really taking damage, but you don't get the full, you don't get the animation, and you don't really waste the damage. This guy's a two retribution guy, so you gotta do that again. Oh, that, oh my goodness, that is a fast gun, hold on. I'm not familiar with those attacks, I, I don't think I've seen those before. Sorry, it's kind of hard to... I can't really keep up on that too much because I'm doing this retribution nonsense. Although this is fun. Like, not attacking is a whole different kind of fun. Actually, <clears throat> by the way, for those just tuning in... Oh, let me not attack that guy. Uh, I think I can stealth kill these guys. For those just tuning in, I'm... If you saw my DualSense Edge review video that I posted uh, like yesterday, I'm not playing on that right now because I haven't figured out how to get the um, the controller overlay to work with the DualSense Edge. Like I plugged it in but it was only showing some buttons. So as a result I'm just using the normal DualSense, um, which is, you know, still a great controller. But yeah, I would like to, I wish I could be playing on my Edge right now, but I do want you guys to see the layout. Um, I'm wondering if, you know, I don't know if you guys saw my one-handed boss challenge video. But in that one-handed boss challenge uh, video where I'm wearing the baseball glove and I kill the boss challenge guy, I'm I'm using the normal dual sense. But if you like, if I had the dual sense edge at that time, I could probably map. Like I could probably have parry. Basically, the edge controller would make one-handed um, combat like way easier. Because in that video, I can't block. I can't block or parry, so it's like you know, I take a lot of damage. I believe there were two spiders. He noticed me. Hmm. This guy, I for sure have killed um, stealth by just running away. But the spiders are making it kind of hard to to get them out of combat. Where did the second spider go? I'm not sure what happened to him. No, you're too smart. You're too smart. Oh, there he is. Okay. Alright, forget the spiders. I just want to kill that one guy. He should be walking back to his post by now. So if I go back, I should be able to catch him. And we're not even in combat, so we can pick up this health upgrade item. Oh, this isn't the health upgrade, this is the max beta energy upgrade. We do get a health upgrade towards the end of the demo, like right before the uh, final boss. Oh, these guys are coming back. Okay, hold on. What if I hide over here? I, lo I love these enemies, they're so adorable. Okay, can I get a, an assault kill maybe? If he gets closer to the wall... Oh no, he just turned around. He turns around so fast! Oh, I tried to go for the assault, but it didn't work. Hold on, it's okay, we'll hide. I'm not sure, don't look at me. Actually, if I'm standing up here, does he just kind of just give up? Because, you know, clearly he can see me right now, right? 
Or are they like dogs and they just can't look up? If I can get an assault on this, that would be awesome. But I'm pretty sure that this is this doesn't count. I'm pretty sure you can still see me. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, you know, just forget about the spiders. They're not- you don't have to kill them. We got the one guy. We got the uh, upgrade, so that's- that's more important. <clears throat> oh, the old man that Adam helps? Yeah, I've seen him in the screenshots, and that guy looks so cool. Like, with the- um, he's like half android or whatever. There's all these, like, wires plugged into the back of his head. That guy looks awesome. I'm really curious about, like, who he is. Oh, by the way, I'm not showing that there's something over here to grab. I show, I, I show all these items and their locations in my 100% walkthrough video, but uh, I'll just show it again. I mean, the demo is so short, we may as well show everything. Yeah, we can Nathan Drake our way up over here. By the way, someone mentioned, actually no, not someone, but Adam mentions, a moment ago, um, I just didn't point it out, Adam mentions that, oh, those are marks made by the Legion. So like, these yellow paint marks are presumably left by the Legion. And so this body, maybe they marked his body like, oh, someone disposed of this, you know, take care of this. Because there is a note, um, watch out for my flavor text video, but there is a flavor text somewhere. Talking about memory sticks, how it's just become like the norm when someone dies, you just take their memory stick, you know, put it in like a like a bank somewhere, and then just dispose of the bodies. Like all they care about, all they care about is the memory sticks. And so with that body, I feel like they kind of just took his memory stick and just left the guy there because you know the body doesn't matter anymore. Uh, what are we doing here? Am I gonna? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go down. I'll show you guys. There's a little bit of money here. Like it's such a minuscule amount of money, but there's a little bit of money here. And in my videos of playing through the demo, I always show jumping up from the top, but you can actually swim through underneath also to get this chest. I do play with auto pickup on, by the way. That is a setting you can turn on. Otherwise, to pick up items, you would be, you'd be holding down R2. Anywho, I'm I'm just so excited for you guys to be able to play the demo, like finally, finally. Cause you know, it's one thing like I love talking about this game and you know, all that, but then uh, it'll be even more fun talking about it with people who have played it themselves. This is a video or a gameplay? Oh, I'm, I'm, this is live. I'm playing right now. Okay, let's check out our skill settings. So we got one more to spend. I could save up for chain charge. I show this off. I'm uploading a video soon, like after the stream. I would start uploading it right now, but I don't want to mess with my, you know, my upload. So, I do show off what this chain charge looks like in practice. But for now, I think what I'll buy instead is... Uh, what will be useful for, for what I'm doing? I can't attack, so... Hmm, I, wow, actually, since I'm doing pacifist... I guess nothing is really that useful, huh? I guess the most useful thing would be I can save up two SP and buy um, focus boost, which makes it easier to perfect parry. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess the thing's the best bet. Okay, so we'll, we'll just wait. We'll save. By the way, did you guys like my camp music video? My favorite song probably is the third one. 
this like really upbeat one because it's it's such a it's such a shopping vibe like it feels like music that would be playing like you know how Nintendo on their eShops they had this like really banging music like especially on the Wii eShop and it just encourages you to spend money it's just like treat yourself you know like you know what maybe I will get another pulse grenade or Hmm, should I use grenades? Nah, grenades are kind of cheating. Grenades are kind of cheating. Okay, anyway, let's continue with our stealth kill exhibition here. We got this guy Barnacle. This enemy is called Barnacle. And we're just kiting him. We're just kiting him over to this ladder. And we're gonna wait for this guy to be out of combat. As soon as he turns around, it's over for him. It is over. And that's a one-shot kill. I mean, that really, that trivializes that enemy. Because that guy, otherwise, you have to parry him multiple times. In order to, well, to get a shield up. Or to get a shield down, rather. I broke line of sight, but he's still coming. Okay, no, he, he turned around. He turned around, we're good. <clears throat> Same thing, we're just gonna run away. He chases kind of far, but yeah, I broke line of sight, so he turns around, he's like, I'm done, I'm out of here. I gotta go back to work, so... Little did he know. That was his last day at work, so... There's this body over here. Can you show each character description for two seconds so I can screenshot? Um, sure, but it's not gonna be great quality. I'm, like, okay, well, I'm, since I'm doing my lore video... When I do that video, I'm going to take um, high quality screenshots of every text that I'm reading. And I was going to put it in... I don't know what the best website to host it would be. But I was going to put it in like maybe um, Image UR or Imager. Or maybe like put them on a mega. Like a mega folder. But I do want, you know, everyone to have access to the absolute like highest quality screenshots of the text. It just, you know, for whatever reason if they want it. So if you have a recommendation, let me know what website I should I should host that stuff on. Yeah, so that's Adam, and that's Taki. So I'm sure you got your screenshots. <clears throat> um, all the enemies and stuff have cool um, descriptions and stuff too. This one's Boa Core. Hey Zatine, thanks for stopping by the stream. Make a Resident Evil run? Mm, I don't think that's my audience. <laughs> I would love to do Resident Evil videos though, it's my favorite franchise. I actually do have some Resident Evil runs on my channel. I have a... I have like an RE3 no damage run. That was fun to do, I love RE3. I love all the remakes. But my favorite, my favorite RE game is uh, a Resident Evil 1 remake. I actually got a GameCube back when I was younger just for that game. Okay, so here's another cool example of using Assault. So here, I'm gonna go up here. And you don't even need that much height. Like, this is enough right here. And you can one-shot him. So yeah, the stealth is... The stealth is viable. It's really cool. Alright, let's open up the check the map. Adam, 
Yes, this is the demo. The demo will be up for everyone to play on Friday. Advanced polymer material. Does that note have something to do with the parking garage? Maybe it does. The parking garage looks like a cool area to explore. Actually, hold on. I haven't tried stealth killing this guy. Let me run away. I'll probably go over here. It seems he doesn't really chase. But yeah, I'm really excited to explore the um, parking garage because, you know, there's multiple levels. And you can see that there's that gate over there that lets us back, you know, backtrack to here. Look how naive Eve is about maps and books. I know, it's really cute. She, she's just so advanced that she's like, what is this? And we're running away. We're being... We're doing a pacifist sort of run, but also showcasing all the stealth that you can do in this game. For those just tuning in, so... I'm not killing- I'm trying to kill basically as few things as possible traditionally. <clears throat> I'm not a morning person, but for this I'm making an exception. No way, that's crazy. Thank you so much for coming. What time zone are you in? I'm curious. Here in the eastern part of the U.S., it is it is almost 8 p.m. Stealth kills are always one shot. From everything I've seen in the demo, and I've been testing it, it's always one shot. So yeah, there's the body core health upgrade. Nearly midnight. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to decide when to stream, you know. Half of my um, subscribers are Korean, so they would just be waking up like right now. Oh, it's not early for me here? I'm in Arizona, 440? Oh, okay. You don't do daylight savings, that's so interesting. I, I forget that there's just states in the US that don't do daylight savings. Like, it's so uneven. It's crazy. Oh, you'll wake up at 7 a.m. on Friday for the demo? Yes. Wait, 7 a.m.? It's not a midnight thing? I mean, I don't really know. I've never, like... I haven't followed, like, demo releases. So do demos usually go up at early in the morning? I figured it would be, like, a midnight kind of launch sort of thing. Daylight savings should be abolished. Abolished? I wouldn't mind that. I wish if we can make her blonde. Well, I know she does have different hairstyles, so there will probably be different colors. Ten a.m. for us in the East Toronto. Mm. I saw this funny thing about like how people from Toronto say Toronto, Toronto, but then like non-Toronto people say Toronto. Is that true? Mm, demos are either early morning or midnight. I guess it just depends on the developer. Or it could be, you know, like in the afternoon if you're shift up and you accidentally leak your own demo. It's true? Okay, that's funny. Yeah, I heard that from, um from Car Throttle, or no, not Car Throttle, Throttle House, which is like these, uh, they're these Canadian car YouTubers. 
Okay, I'm not using items, that's right. But I will upgrade. No, actually, I shouldn't upgrade it. I was gonna upgrade Blink. Well, I'll, I mean, I opened the skill menu, so it forces you to buy it, but... We'll get Blink, but I'm not gonna use Blink because there is an attach, there is a, an attack that is attached to the Blink animation. So that's not allowed. That is not allowed for my pacifist run arbitrary rule sets. So if you do Blink, it does that slash, like, no matter what. The music does sound like elevator music. I haven't watched Mad Men though, I heard it's good. <clears throat> okay. Um, we don't need to backtrack for anything, but you know, we can backtrack if we want to. Just with this telephone, like Matrix style or something. I will upgrade my weapon though, because I, I'm sure that'll affect my retributions a little bit, right? Like it should, I, I'm assuming it will. Alright, let's try this boss pacifist style. Retribution only. Only parrying allowed. But yeah, like, look in here. There's this guy. He's not even... He doesn't even care about me because the door's closed. But you can see there's that guy. There's... Another guy over there in the background. There's a barrel over there. There's a little barrel you can see. If you de-lock after you trigger the flash, can you miss on purpose? Um, well, there is a timing associated with uh, using blink, but as soon as you input the command, like up and circle, there's, uh, there's no getting out of it. How many retributions do you guys think it's going to take? I'm thinking three again, or maybe four. Because this guy is definitely tougher than the opening boots. Oh, we got hit there. I'm thinking it's going to be... Honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say four. I'm going to say four, that's my guess. My dodge failed here. Again. You can dodge absolutely any battle. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's see how far this takes him. I don't think it's gonna take him to phase two. Yeah, okay. Oh goodness. I think this might this might be a fiver, to be honest. Um, phase 2 starts at, uh, at 60% by the way. So when the bosses, by the way, both bosses in this game that I've faced, uh, which are the boss challenge one and this one, the brute not so much because he's like, he's a special just tutorial boss, so he doesn't have a phase 2, but the bosses with phases, when you take them to phase 2, which is at 60%, they become invincible and they have to do an animation to move on to the next phase. So there's no damage in them until they finish the game. This is not going that well. I already used one healing item, but let's we'll see. This is, the, this is the easy part of the fight. So I hope I can still finish this. Well, we'll see. This should definitely take him to face. But it's gonna stop. Like, I guarantee you this would do more damage, but since it has to stop at 60%, um, I don't get the extra benefit. I don't get the extra benefit. Alright, now we're gonna, we're gonna do some lightning stuff. Just run around a little bit. You can dodge that guy. Just do normal attacks, please.
you guys like his music, by the way? I think it's really cool. Oh, whoops. That was wrong. We got one combo left. Oh, no. Three, right? So this should do more damage because you know. What about that 60% progression? Oh no, I think this is gonna be a five or yeah. That was under three. I don't think we can smoke. Okay, so that was one. I don't have any potions? Okay, never mind. Well, we might be trying this then. But I'm, I'll try, you know, I'll make enough of That's number four? This is not gonna go. There's no way, there's no way, right? Oh my god, we're so close, dude. Okay. Alright, one more. I have no help. Oh, you know what I could have been doing to put a lock on I could have been, um... I could have been using the, uh, the barrels. The barrels are kind of like pacifism, right? You know? That is okay. No, this is a disaster. Okay, hold on, hold on, chill, chill, chill. Relax, Abaddon. Okay. Oh, that wasn't so bad. But, I was just thinking of it. I was gonna say I could quit out so I can keep playing more of the demo, but... We still got the boss challenge to mess around with. We can always be playing more of the demo if you want to. Serious seems to have happened. I have to return to Zion. Oh my goodness! It's I like that song. That song is so cool. Little birds. Oh, were you the one who suggested it? Yeah, we did. Um, we did the intro boss, and we did Abaddon um, in that style. Retribution only, and we're gonna do the boss challenge next. Thanks for the suggestion, by the way. That was, you know, it was fun. I think I saw this guy out in the Arizona desert one time. He has some crazy critters here. That's crazy. So it's like a mini Australia or something.
Gonna go home now, catch you if you're still here. Okay. Be safe. Okay, let's jump into boss challenge and try to do the same thing. Well, if Abaddon took five... I'm gonna do no uh, equipment because, you know, it's not gonna help me anyway. Let's go for... Uh, let's go with the red suit. I don't use it that much, so... May as well use it some more. Yeah, about 30 days till the demo, or till the full game. Demo on Friday, full game in the demo. Super exciting. Just tuning in by the way, we're doing like a pacifist sort of challenge. So I can only kill bosses with retributions. The purple dodge, it's called. Mm, that is a visual prompt, a visual cue to use an ability called Repulse. And I'll show you what it is. It is right here. It's this. So basically, you hold down and circle. And it knocks the enemy back, and then their weak. Per well, your range attack is boosted, and it reveals um, it reveals weak spots. So after this challenge, we'll um, I'll show you what that looks like. When we're in the But it is unblockable, so you cannot carry that. The, whether it's a purple, like a pink one, or it's, um, if it's a blue one, you cannot block them, so you have to either dodge or, you know, or use the ability. Dude, are you serious? This is gonna take a while. <laughs> that didn't even put him to phase two. Oh, goodness. So bad at some of those dodges. Okay, so this should put him in place too, no problem. I think we're on three now. I'm pretty sure this is number two. You, please guess what you think it's gonna end up at because he gets his shield back now. So I mean if that's a three I don't know. Oh my god. Come on, I almost died. Chill 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 chill. <laughs> By the way, I'm not using Blink or Repulse because there is an attack tied to the animations, so it would kind of pull up the challenge. That was a good one. Okay, we got half of the shields off, basically. Uh, maybe, maybe it'll just take six. 
I'm just running away because I don't trust myself right now to dodge. Like my dodge timing is pretty awful at the moment. Oh, this is the hard one to block. Oh, okay, then. Okay, that was really close. My last tumbler are not good. I guess we'll move on to the other health items. I mean, it's just my first time playing this, so like, if I, if I was, I don't know, maybe I'm not the chance I could do with only the tumblers, but I'll be happy to just get it done. Um, four. Oh yeah, no, this is going to take two more. I can tell. That's going to take two more, dude. Five more for the next attribution. Okay, I'm, I'm, I think I've missed every dodge <laughs> so far. Besides that one, I mean, that one is that one's just easy to win. One more, I don't think it's okay. Goodness, I'm, it might take two more, dude. That did like nothing, are you serious? <laughs> okay, come on, Stocky. Oh, man. That one is tough, that one's tough. You don't see it much because it only happens towards the end of the fight. Okay, what else should I use? I guess I'll use this. I really hope this kills him. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you think? I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, it worked! Yes! <laughs> How many was that? I lost count. Completely lost count. Okay, awesome. That was fun. Damn, oh, 16... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Someone had asked me, that. okay, that gave me 1600 SP experience, and it filled four bars. And for the, I think it's the deluxe, it gives you 2000, right? So I think 2000 will give you five bars. I'm pretty sure. Which is, you know, it's a nice little bump to start with some stuff. Actually, since I, show, since I showed you guys some of the, um, some of the stealth stuff, maybe it'd be fun to buy the stealth upgrades, like, early on, so you can mess around with them more. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I mean, that was, that, that was a lot faster than I expected, I mean. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't so bad after all. Can you show boss description? Does this guy have a description? Let me see. Hmm, so it doesn't actually, um... In the boss challenge, you can't look at descriptions. Hmm. So, no, I cannot show them, because they are not available. <clears throat> yeah, I just I just put on the square frame glasses, you know. 
I, I just felt kind of default. I felt like there was more default for the, uh, for that challenge. The movement seems fluid. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, especially because of the fact that you can jump and instantly you know, cancel into a dash, or a dodge rather. Um... What do I do now? I can do attack now. I gotta like reprogram my brain so you use know, the face buttons now. Showing you your points. I'm I'm like autopiloting. But yeah, as you can see, you can um, you can dodge that that kind of shout that he does because it does give off like a little um, AOE kind of knockback. Even though it doesn't hurt you, when he does that AOE attack, it doesn't actually hurt you. I died. So even though you don't take damage, you can still dodge it, which is interesting, I think. See you later, Jimmy. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Really appreciate it. I appreciate all your comments, too. I see all your comments. Helldivers 2 is fortunately keeping you busy until the demo drops. Yeah, I've heard, um, I've heard that game's really funny. Like, it's a lot of fun and just hilarious to play with friends. Okay, so hear me out. This is coming from a niche fandom perspective, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of design elements of Stellar Glade that remind you of Torchwood, which is a Doctor Who spinoff. I haven't seen that, so maybe someone else can can know what you mean and kind of agree with or not. Oh, you know what's interesting though about <coughs> someone had mentioned the Doctor Who soundtrack in one of my um, OST videos. So yeah, maybe someone from the team drew inspiration somehow. See you later, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Dude, that's interesting. <laughs> it stopped my um my shot there. Died again. <clears throat> you know what it is when you're using um, beta skills, which are the ones in the bottom right. You have you have like infinite poise, so you're not gonna get knocked back or stunned, but you do still take all the damage. 
Gotta go have fun. Thank you, thank you for stopping by, G Walker. See you later. It was probably you that commented. Oh, okay. Man. Oh yeah, I remember. I replied and I asked um, for examples because I was curious to hear like you know, what you thought sounded like. Um, That was cool, we jumped over that. Like, like, like. Beta skills counter yellow attacks with like a super army in the side of the Um, yeah, so when they do yellow attacks, those are just unblockable, but you can dodge them. We jumped over that tree, that was hype. I love that. Again, dude, you know, <laughs> you know what I tried to do? I was trying to get the blink off, but the timing was wrong, so I didn't blink. I promise you I'm not a fraud. I promise I can kill this guy normally with not only just retributions. <laughs> I did get carried away. Beta, um, what's your favorite monster design so far? Hmm, good question. I think... Hmm, honestly, I love this guy with the chainsaw type head. But the design that I've been most interested in seeing is... There's a guy in one of the trailers and in one of the official screenshots that has like a wheel head. And I think that guy looks super cool. I really want to fight him. Uh, I, wonder, I don't know what he's going to fight, but uh... Yeah, you might, know, you might know who I'm talking about. But his head is all just throwing wheels. Oh yeah, you guys see how I'm not using items at all by the way? Yep, that is one thing, that is one advantage to the edge. At least with my setup if you watch my controller layout video. But uh, since I could not get my controller graphic layout for it, I like... I totally missed there by the way. I'm sure you can get that shot out. In fact, we're gonna do that again, just so I can show what that looks like. Nice and cool item. Oh, let's see this. Oh, I'm sorry you missed it, dude. You missed it, but the, the VOD is there, I promise you. It was the first attempt. So like when I when I upload the VOD just for you, I'm gonna put chapters. That way you can jump straight to the uh, boss challenge and you can see the first time. It took like, it took six retributions if I remember correctly, not seven. just by a little bit there. Interesting. I think I think because I'm so close, the gun might not, uh, you know, like the shots might start at the actual end of the barrel. So I think that I'm too close to it. Because normally I don't have that problem shooting the weak one. Let's take a look at that again. Let me just stagger him again real quick. Oops. Okay, that's not gonna hurt. That just dealt a little bit of damage. We're fine. We're fine. I'm, I'm 
messing that up a lot. <laughs> Stand back a little bit. Yeah, and then you have no problem dealing damage to his weak point. Sound is loud again. Like just, <laughs> just randomly. Do like you mean the audio or me? Oh, I failed that. Whoops. So I hope that helps. And that's so weird. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to mess around after this with OBS. I don't know what's going on. If there's any um, specific gears that you want to see, let me know and I will play with whatever build you want. Are you playing in graphics, balanced, or performance? I'm playing in balanced. As you can see here. The run looks really similar to Bayonetta. I can see that, especially if I go black suit. If I go like my classic, my favorite outfit here. This Bayonetta style. Hmm. Well, what's something that I barely ever play with? I mean... Okay, let's mess around with uh, damage to shields. Because I feel like that's, you know... Can the game run at 120? Definitely not. The performance mode is 60. You know, maybe down the line they they would add a 120 style, but um, but yeah, 60. The 60 feels great though, and so does balanced. I'm in, I've been enjoying playing on balanced. It's pretty much all I've played on. Like 90% has been on balanced, 10% on performance. Let's raise our ranged attack power also. So we're gonna try to make our guns as strong as possible to shields. And then these other ones, I mean, just chain type is honestly just the best. All right. I lowered the game audio slightly, by the way, so hopefully it's okay right now. Anyway, I'm so excited for, um, for my emojis. The artist I'm working with is... She told me that she'll have sketches done in a week. And, um, so what I went with is, you know, I wanted Adam, Eve, Lily, and Taki. So my emoji ideas... Um, well, I'll show you guys when the sketches are done, but um, this should come out really good. I pretty much have, <clears throat> I have Eve doing like a wave, like a hello emoji. Taki is doing like a pouting face. Adam is doing like a thumbs up kind of okay for the bit. And then Lily is going to be just like a what the hell, like a shock face. Oh yeah, by the way, so these are all the combat items you have. The shock grenades are really strong, I think. And then pulse damage, um, pulse grenades for shields. You know, this thing, let's take a look at it. Because he has full shields right now, so how much does it actually do to shields? Okay, well, first of all, let's go right here. Okay, so like right here. It doesn't even knock off one. That's... That's okay. That's just like not... That's just whatever. And I wanted to see if that maybe did any damage to stability. Game audio is still high. Alright, let's lower it more. That's even quieter. Oh, in the HUD I sound fine, but in game it's loud. Okay. Well, I just lowered it a ton. Oh, that's that's a that's uh that's a shame. It's um I don't know what's up with my OBS, but yeah, I don't see uh I don't really see any audio levels for my, for my game capture. 
And I normally do, so I don't know what's going on there. I might just have to reset my computer, to be honest. It could be, it could be screwed up because um, I use a separate software to actually record my game clips. So it might just be confused. Um, because like, I have a game set on my software. Oh my goodness, that was cool. <laughs> so, I mean, the thing is, I haven't noticed like, a ton of icons doing dodges, but sometimes it just works. It's not like Dark Souls. Like, the Dark Souls dodge is, you know, you have a very clear... Oh, I'm in the here. But I don't really feel that with this game. Here, this retribution was gonna be like close to no damage. Because his health has to go to 60%, it has to stop here. So we can do his little phase 2 transition. So ideally, like when you're fighting this boss on Friday, guys, ideally you wanna save up your um don't use your retribution, like save it, don't carry stuff until he's in phase two. That way we get to know the next time we Okay, so Jinx is not working the air, you gotta be on the ground. Rocks go up. That's cool. Let's see, I wanted to mess with the mines again. If I set both mines, is this good? Okay, well, it's not good against that attack. I'm gonna kind of run to that one. Does anyone else's phone freak out? Do you have a thing you have a thing just Google? Um, Every time I say okay, it's like, oh, you want something. You must want something. Yeah, the demo is coming out on Friday. That is confirmed. Some of these grab attacks should be one shot. Well, they do a lot of damage. It just depends on what your shield level is at. And they can kill you. It's not like... If you're low enough on health, they so you don't just put you to one shot. Um, and in the video that I'm uploading later, it's not showing um, all the battle animations that you want to grab, and all the stealth stuff. In that video, I do show the dying of the one of these grabs. That's not the shield. Damn, that was a lot of damage. That was, um, because remember, we put on, we put on the two... Not the two speed, you put on the gear for range and the gear for damage to shield. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, right there, I used Blink during an attack that does go airborne, but it didn't work earlier when I was like um, actually jumping, so I guess it works if you're doing it. It's interesting. I guess as long as you're not jumping, even if you're able, as long as you're not jumping, you can still do it. Okay, now, let's try the mines again. Is that both of them? That was both mines. That was kind of underwhelming. But maybe they don't stack. It's possible the mines, like, there's a, there's a maximum amount of damage that they can do, like in a set period of time. <laughs> well, 
that's what I get for trying to parry that. <clears throat> that is definitely the hardest um, attack pattern to parry. At least for me. Torchwood is definitely sci-fi, but they dress like fashion. That sounds cool. Make a um, maybe like a wheel or something. Um, like strategies for this boss. I'm pretty sure people don't have trouble with it. I think this is gonna kill me. Oh no, I'm alive. Okay, we're good. Second dodge, if you are not holding it on a direction, he does the back here. Bliss, seeing the location of where we land in the first cutscene, it seems like we might be landing in the Dead Sea, which might explain the proximity to the desert. The city might be Sodom and Gomorrah. Hmm, interesting. Well, I did remember seeing like a bunch of desert environments in like, the trailers. Oh yeah, when you're fighting the stalker. I believe that this guy actually just lost. When you really fight him in the actual story is in a desert. That looks really cool. Because it makes more sense. He, he does like a burrow attack, like when he does this. It looks like he's you know, like, going through like, like, dirt or sand or something. Like that. Hold on, okay. <clears throat> I kind of want to mess with... Um... I kind of want to see if I can get some critical hits, because I, I don't notice like the critical hits really. And I'm curious... <laughs> I'm curious if criticals include 
uh, like if you could get like a critical version of a retribution. I don't know if that's possible. But let's put all the critical stuff on. Crit rate plus 4.5, crit damage plus 9, this thing. So now we've got 9.5% uh, crit rate and 182% crit damage. Multiplying our 650 base damage. You'd be playing with the long hair then? Daniel Lazar? Yeah. The long point is cool. I just prefer the short one. Alright, so I'm gonna really stare at the guy's health card. Let's see if I can make any hits. In fact, let's shoot it here with uh, uh, That entire time of health is consistent damage. Like, it didn't look like any of the bullets did extra damage, but... You know, I don't actually know if crits include uh, range attacks. They might not. But I don't know why they wouldn't. I feel like it should, you know? where the storage takes place is good to get the home. Um, so now check the geography to see if you can 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 see <clears throat> when I do the lore videos uh, showing off all the, the flavor text and stuff, I'm not going to make any connections myself. I'll just leave that to, you know, to you guys in the comments so you guys can talk about that. I don't want to have any kind of like opinion. I just want to be presenting the information. I'm playing live. This is right now. I didn't, oh my goodness, I forgot that since we press retry, it resets your, um, your gears, so I have this the stock stuff right now, which is like a bunch of nonsense. That's a good one. Gotta shoot the retry. Almost died here. I'm kidding. This screen has been audio issues and me forgetting to put the controllers in at all. But that's okay because because tomorrow, literally tomorrow, I will get my stream deck and then I will be like, it'll be much easier for me to notice that stuff, so I can just check it again.
he got really far away. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, never mind. We can't shoot this. Guy. How long am I gonna continue streaming? Uh, let's see. What time is it now? It's 2:30 here. And I've been live for. So the story to say how long I've been live. You know, I'm not sure how long I've been live, but however long it is, um, you know, I think I'll go for another hour maybe. I think we should get another, no, another character to come in. Yeah, I'm having fun. I haven't played this game in a, in a little bit. Like, the only times I've been playing it have been, um, just like to capture some flips for like some footage for videos. But for the most part I've just been uh, playing the DMC3. Okay. <laughs> let me let me back out of this. We've killed this guy enough times. And we even killed him doing retribution only at the very start of this boss challenge section if you're uh, in the VOD and you just jump to this part this part randomly. If you go back to the first attempt, um, we did kill him with Retribution only, so that was, that was a lot of fun. Same with the other bosses from the story. We did Retribution only on the Brute and the Abaddon boss. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll just play through this uh, story again, like one more time. And then after that, we'll, we'll call it a stream. Oh, I've been doing better than it's like, um, I started to, like, my voice started coming back yesterday. How about you? How you doing? Oh, if you're wondering how I'm playing the demo, I had it downloaded since the release of my accident. And I've just been offline the whole time. Yeah, my console is offline. This perspective here looks really cool also. It's so good, it's so cinematic. Yeah, I'm sorry about the audio levels today guys, I'm not sure what's going on. Because last two streams I didn't have any problems. I at least no problems that I didn't figure out after like, you know, a few minutes. You know what it is too? It's possible that, um... Yeah, actually, I'm not sure. I really don't know what the audio problem is.
Okay, we lowered the um I lowered the game audio to basically five percent and I put myself at maximum. Let's go back to killing stuff in the Earlier we did our passive and stuff, so I as few enemies as possible. Which was fun. Like, look at that huge structure in the background. That thing is crazy. It's so tall. What? You can also see, like, a ship over there. And look at this guy. Look at that. I got thrown into a cutscene. Oh, yeah. Cannot dash. Oh, hold on, I know what I know what could have happened. I know what could have happened because Actually, let me, let me test this right now. Let me check something with my microphone. Hold on a sec. Hmm, okay, so, I'm, hmm, so when I was troubleshooting with the, um, with the new capture card I got, at some point my microphone, which is a blue Yeti, it randomly kind of just, like, forgot it with, like, its own identity, and I had to go and install, um, its firmware again with some, like, third-party app. And maybe that messed with the, um, the gain settings on it. So I was checking what that looked like in Windows. But it, it looks normal to me. Hmm. Let me also disable my DualSense microphone. Maybe that's messing with something for some reason. Even though it's not like the, it's not the input I'm using. Okay, so anyway, maybe that's better, maybe that's better. We'll see, probably not. I feel like it's gonna be the same. OBS resets level sometimes for you if you add new hardware. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like my microphone is at 100%. Hello, tall neck. I know you. Kimura Hyontai Kidehe. Um, uh, I know that last word is expect or like expectation, uh, and that's about it. So, what was I doing? I could also maybe lower this slightly if it's that loud, and then I'll mess with my um my audio stuff later. So now the game shouldn't be so overwhelming potentially. 
but I am sitting like I'm sitting in the same position as my other streams. Yeah, not the best stream. Kind of a wash with all these audio problems. I hope you guys still manage to get something out of this though. I mean, doing the gameplay was fun. Even though my audio might be messed up, I think I'll potentially still be able to get some cool clips out of the um, out of the gameplay that I did. I mean, we did get to do all the bosses, retribution only, so that was cool. It's better? Okay. Hmm. On these guys, these beholders, since they like to do attacks that go low to the ground, I think it's good to use the um, to use the string that goes square square triangle, because that third hit goes airborne. That one, two, whoops, the one that goes one two three and then airborne, because you have a good chance of going over their attacks. Oh yeah, casual days. To answer your question, I did have my console um, offline by chance. Actually, no, that's not true. I, I had it off, like shut off, instead of in rest mode, just by chance. And then I heard that the demo was getting taken off, so I um, I just unplugged my router, turned on my console, and set to offline. And I've just been like that ever since. Because I mean, I was already very excited for this game, but then I saw the demo and I was like, oh my goodness, are you serious? I gotta download this. And I caught it, you know, while it was still up. And then I wasn't even planning to make any content about it, but then I saw that most of the content around it was just like nonsense and just purely vacuous. And I was like, hold on, I gotta like, I gotta show people this game. This isn't, I can't have this game I'm super hyped for, you know, just be like a meme game. Oh, hold on, my cat wants to come inside. One sec. back. Hey buddy. He's in a good mood now because he just ate dinner. He's a good boy. My cat's so ridiculous. I don't know if you guys have cats and like I, I feel like they're just all the same where they need to find the most uncomfortable thing to sit on top of. It could just be like like a plastic bag. They're like oh this is my this is a perfect bed. <laughs> 1,000 IQ, thank you. Best content involving this demo, thank you, I appreciate that. <clears throat> and I do have a video coming up uh, right after this stream, as soon as I'm done tying up my upload. I'll put up a video showing every um, stealth kill animation that I could find in the demo. Or like most of them, it's a bunch of them. And then also showing some enemy special attacks, how they mess up you. Cause she can she can get grabbed. She can get grabbed in some cool ways. My cat is on top of a of an Amazon box right now. And it's not even like that sturdy, so the box is upside down. So he's sitting on the you know, he's sitting on top of it. But it's caving in, so I mean that can't be comfortable or good for his back. But he's happy with it. Why am I running away? <laughs> we had no problem uh, parrying all this stuff earlier.
Oh, she's he's not dead. Okay. From the trailer, it seems like she's still in the game later somehow. Yeah, I, I noticed that. We'll see. We'll see if it's really her, who knows. I mean, sometimes these trailers just throw you off on purpose. <laughs> yeah, cats are hilarious. My favorite is when Eve jumps on Taki's blade and then Taki throws her to the brute. Yeah, it's super cool. The alley oop. Yeah, who is excited to play Friday? I'm... I'm really excited for you guys. Casual days, the demo is coming out on Friday. So everyone will be able to download it. When you guys do download the demo, I really encourage you to play around with the with the stealth stuff. It's just it's super fun. Stealth is cool. It's gonna be cool because in some of the trailers you can see the like the different environments that are more varied. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm more excited to do speedruns or challenge runs. I feel like challenge runs are going to be more my jam. Just because, you know, it's going to be fun finding different ways to play. So that's, I feel like, I think that's going to be more of the content that I'm going to be doing. But then, you know, it'll be fun to do like some speedruns too, like maybe platinum speedruns. Or like even stipulation speedruns, like challenge, like challenge runs, as speedruns. Mostly what I'm gonna be going for. Because you know, I think this game's gonna be infinitely replayable for me at least. And you know, I want other people to replay it too, so I have to like come up with ways to make it interesting to replay. You know. The third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth time. Oh my goodness. Did 
These guys are called creepers. Yeah, see, this data bank section here is not available in the boss challenge mode, so you can't read about that boss. But yeah, these are the creepers. They're small, but deadly natibas. You think challenge runs are the most fun to watch, Carson King? <clears throat> yeah, I like watching challenge runs of games. I mean, I like watching speedruns too, but... But usually challenge runs are more varied. You know, because you're kind of following the same... Oh, I just noticed this. Well, this doesn't matter so much. I forgot my controller capture again. I am covering those little inputs, but those do not matter. I kind of landed on putting the controller here as the best spot for it. Make sure, when you play the demo on Friday, make sure you guys get this Tumblr expansion. So you can increase your uh, healing item there. The one that restocks every time you stop at a camp. <clears throat> One thing I've learned from the limited speedrunning I've done and the countless hours I've watched is that even if you don't want to speedrun, speedrun strats are still the best way to go for certain parts of games. Yeah, I can see, I can definitely see that. I mean, I mean, you're right. But then the problem is, sometimes, like, the speedrun strats aren't as fun as other ways to play. For me, at least. I'm in combat? Oh. Like, especially for, like, this game where, you know, there's so many different ways to kill enemies. There might be one combo pattern or, like, one string that is the most efficient. But if you're not varying your attacks, I mean, it's just not as fun. Oh my goodness, I forgot to take off my controller again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm gonna set up my stream deck once it comes in. And I'm gonna have I'm gonna have it on a button. Cutscenes, controller layoff, or controller layout off. And then as soon as it's over, bam, one button, done. Instead of fiddling around with my like mouse. Man, by the way, stream setups are a complete disaster of cables. I mean it is a mess. Let's go for the different music this time. We'll start on song two next time. Actually, I will be right back because I do have to use the bathroom. So give me a couple minutes here.
Okay, we are back. <clears throat> yeah, I was getting some more tea since I didn't have a voice two days ago. This guy is one of the harder enemies for me to play. Like, I think that it's actually harder to carry this guy than both bosses. I'm not even joking. It, it feels like his attacks are so delayed, so I'm, I'm always early. Oh, hold on, I gotta see what you guys are talking about. What's going on here? If they somehow worked Mega Man into Stellar Blade, yeah, shut up and take my money. Can you imagine? Like, having zero sword or something? Stellar Blade cross Sonic? Well, there is the sword surfing. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't played that game stray. You know what's crazy is that I think it was on PSN, like it was on PS Plus, right until... I got my PS5 pretty much, and then they removed it, so, or like around the same time, and I really wanted to play it, but, I mean, I have to at some point, once it goes on sale, I'll get it, it looks cool, I heard it wasn't that long, though, this vista is beautiful, I love this, this shot right here, you have an orange cat magnetic? That's cool. Orange cats, they definitely have a reputation. Oh, did I just... Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, my cat's a uh, brown tabby. You have to think like a cat to progress in the game. That sounds fun. Yeah, I remember seeing this video, it was really cute, of like, a cat watching one of the cutscenes. He was like, watching the cutscene where like, a cat falls down some pit or something. And he just looked so concerned, it was adorable. Play the game only using the gun. Unfortunately, there is no gun in this story section, in the demo. You only have the gun in the boss challenge. But that would be an interesting challenge run. The problem is, I don't know if it'd be possible since, you know, you have like... You have what seems like limited ammo. I mean, you have limited items in general. For example, like the healing items, you can only carry two at a time. So, um... Like this, for example. You can only carry up to two of these, and if you buy more than two in the shop, it'll store them. And so then, like, if you go through and, you know, you're battling, you use them and stuff, next time you stop at the rest stop, it'll kind of just, um, refill your inventory. You have to scan to be able to see this guy after he goes invisible. Disappeared again. Okay, here we go. That was too early, so I got a regular parry there. Stray is good, it didn't finish, but it was relaxing. You should finish it. If you still have access to it. Cause you know, once this game comes out, I'm not I'm not finishing anything else. I mean, I was literally... I was in the middle of my Yakuza 5 playthrough. And then this demo dropped, and then I was like, Oh, I guess I'm... I guess I have to make content for this now. Or rather, I mean, I want to make content for this now, so I dropped everything else. Which is A-OK. -okay. I didn't get that far in Yakuza 5, so... 
I'll just restart it whenever I do get to... Whenever I get to playing different games again. How do you still have access? I have kept my console offline since uh, since the day that they, the demo went up. Maybe you expand slots later? Possibly. Like, um, yeah, possibly. We'll see. It seems like most everything is upgradable. If you like animal games, you have to try The Last Guardian. Yeah, I loved Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, I never played Ico, but um, I really wanted to try out Last Guardian. Oh man, that guy got us. Whenever I die to a normal enemy, I feel like a fraud. But it just happens sometimes, you know, because I don't block. I don't block when I don't focus that much on healing. I feel like blocking is something that I'll have to start doing though. Otherwise, my uh, my first playthrough might get kind of impeded. I could be wrong, but we'll see. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to break that muscle memory of like only trying to parry stuff. But, I mean, you already know, when I start playing the full game, I'm gonna be playing just like this. I don't like blocking. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a good question. I wonder when you put your console back off online if it's gonna honor my save data? I don't think so, to be honest. I feel like it's gonna be a new build of the demo. Um, I could be wrong though. I could be wrong and it could be the same. I'll, I'll see because I'm gonna... Well, I'll capture it when I do put my console online. I'll capture what that looks like. And this demo is... Actually, I'll show you. Hold on. This demo is 16.17 uh, gigs. So if it's a different size, like if the file size is any bigger or smaller, we know that they changed something. Can you parry while in while waiting in block stance? No. You can't because to parry you just have to tap L1. So if you're holding it down, you know, you can't do that. Although I'll see if you can go like like that, you know what I mean? Like be blocking and then go like that. I I'll check the I'll check right now to see if that works. played all of Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, and Last Guardian, amazing trilogy, yeah. I mean, if, if Shadow of the Colossus, they're gonna be amazing. I mean, I love the music in Shadow of the Colossus. That game is, that game is just so epic. As a PS2 game, like, what the heck? How's that even possible? Oh, I don't have Blink, okay. So I'm gonna try this right now. I'm gonna hold block, and I'll try to parry, wait. Okay, yeah, so actually it does work. So if you wanted to, you could you could be holding block for most of the time, Rev, like, you know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you could do that. Hmm. That might be good in against some bosses. The thing is, the <coughs> Sorry, the problem with um with that is that when you're blocking, you will move very slowly. You know, so your movement is limited by a lot.
One way or the other, what a special treat to have this experience early and so cool of you to share it with everyone so extensively. Yeah, I'm really happy I got a chance to. Just pure luck, literally pure luck. Like, it's pure luck that I was excited about the game and then that I just happened to have, you know, a setup. Well, actually, I didn't have a setup because I bought this capture card after this demo came out, just for this demo. But, um... I mean, for the most part, I had a setup, you know, I had the microphone already, so... We might die here. Okay, I guess we're fine. By the way, some- okay, so <clears throat> I'll show you on that guy and on the barnacle enemy. You can kind of just sidestep right. And I'll show you what I mean, because while, you know, I like to parry stuff, you don't have to. You can kind of just avoid attacks too. I'm not going to pick that up because I picked that up like 30 times. And I want to show you this barnacle thing that I'm talking about, because it's pretty cool. By the way, careful when you're jumping into the water. If you land on the boards, you do take fall damage, so don't die taking fall damage there. Okay, let's heal up. Oh, you can do that in Sekiro, Nate Islet? Hmm. Yeah, I haven't played Sekiro, but it's on my wishlist. I think I'm gonna buy... <clears throat> I mean, I did my whole last playthrough using Ambush and Assault. So let's buy... Uh... You know, let's buy the Aerial Blow, because I'm not really... I don't really use that in this story mode. It's like one of the last things I upgrade. Ooh, look at that, that's interesting. So, it has, <clears throat> it has a certain range, like you can't aerial dive past a certain amount, so it just cancels out the animation. I wonder if that works even if I'm closer to the floor, like if I do it late, will it still cancel it or do I have to kind of... Oh, hold on, what? It didn't come out there. Okay, here we go, let's try it this time. No, so after a certain point in my fall, I just can't input triangle. That's a slick animation too, she just like wraps around the ladder, that's super cool. Hmm. So if you want to press triangle for aerial dive, you kind of have to do it early. I mean, the thing is, like, you normally wouldn't be doing it from up here, right? Because if there's an enemy down there, you would just use the assault, like, one hit kill. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this guy. Most of his attacks, you can just sidestep right. Look at that. I mean, it's like completely free. Like, completely free. You see that? Sort of like how some characters in Tekken, you know, they're weaker, like, sidestepping left or right. This guy, you just sidestep right. And you'll have an easy time. I mean, this is... I'm... There's basically no timing. Okay, there I stopped moving, so that's why I got hit, but... Even if you do a slow sidestep... Even a, sl a slow sidestep still gets around his attacks. So, that's that strategy. Thought I'd show you guys that. Ooh, I just noticed. You can see Adam, there's a little eye icon floating around because he wants you to look at that uh, thing, at that door. Okay, wait for him to turn around. Your birthday is April 23rd, so it's the perfect present. That's awesome. I'll go through this dialogue again because I really like this one. Adam, what's this? 
지도? 그럼 위치 동기하는 어떻게 하는 거지? <웃음> Her, she's so like confused. Includes making things intuitive. Yeah, I agree. And a lot of things are intuitive, like the um, <clears throat> blink and repulse. They are so intuitive after you play for you know a little bit. Like once you just learn, when you see blue, you gotta hold forward. When you see pink, you gotta hold back. It's intuitive because it you're pressing the direction where Eve ends up. <laughs> the way she says Adam in Korean makes me want to change my name to Adam. That's funny. Yeah, I love Adam. His character's uh, his character design is so cool. I like his mask and stuff. And he has a dual runner from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Like what? He looks awesome. The music sounds when items jump out of boxes are awesome. I like it too. All the sound effects are good. Like the sound effects when enemies do unblockable attacks, opening chests, you know, sitting down at the camp and like stuff replenishes. Oh, so good. If Starmie from Pokemon fell into a nuclear waste pool, it's so funny. I've actually called that enemy Starmie before, like, unironically. Because it's just the first kind of starfish I thought of. Adam. Hmm? Adam's jawline is like out of control. Yeah, I can't wait to have. Um... Oh, I'm so excited for my emojis. And I'm so excited to get, like, you know. Um, once I have more members, for in my YouTube membership, I can get even more emojis, so then I'm gonna commission more to do, like, different... Well, different emotions. I wanna have a bunch of Eve ones. That'd be really cool to have, like, an Eve emoji for, like, every situation. Even, like, just look at these items. Look at how detailed they are. They look so good. The SP initializer is a cool item, by the way, and it's so cheap. Because maybe you, you know, maybe you get some upgrades and you're like, eh, I don't like these anymore. I'll just change them. That sound, that whole effect right there, so cool. Although, why does Adam have his flashlight, like, right on me? Dude, just chill. I'm trying to relax right here. What can we see over here? We got some uh, some creepers over there. There's a lot of creepers. And we got some barrels. If only I could get over there. Can you imagine if I could get over there? If we, if we could just break the demo. But I'm pretty sure there's no way to break the demo. Like, it feels unbreakable. 
I mean, because I've tried, kind of. Even maybe with my aerial attack, let me see. Hmm. I think this is what speedrunners do when they're looking for, you know, out of bounds stuff. We're just trying everything. Okay, that was kind of progress. Wait, hold on. <laughs> that was kind of progress. I got up there for one second. Hmm. I really don't expect to find anything, but, you know, this is kind of fun. Hmm. <clears throat> do QA people do this also? Like, they're just looking around everywhere for out of bounds? If any of you guys have ever worked in QA. Anyway, I don't think I can break the wall. Like, it'd be awesome if I could just randomly clip through, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe once more people get their hands on the demo, they're gonna... They're gonna totally break it. Like, if I could get in there, because the enemies are there, you know? So I feel like if I could get through here, I could totally fight them, like, they would work. Although, they don't seem to notice me because the barrier is up, so like if this barrier were open, I'm sure they'd aggro and maybe even walk out into this area. But yeah, for now, all you can really do is look in there. You want to see the boundary break guy cover this? That could be cool. Does Eve pat Adam like Tubi does to her pod? I haven't noticed that, but you can see here she's grabbing him to save him. Wait, I didn't research a blink. Oops. Oh, whatever. I mean, we did this whole fight earlier using nothing but retribution, so... I didn't use any blink there. Oh, I don't have, uh, I don't have counter or reflection. I don't have anything. I tried to dodge there, but it worked. I wonder if there's a looted work for this demo already. I don't believe so. It would definitely be easier if I had blink, but that's okay.
Mm, you wish you could get the that boss's blades. Getting boss weapons in games is always so cool. I agree, it is always fun. Like in DMC when you get, you know, boss's weapons, but... The thing is, I think what they were going for was crafting... Like, instead of giving you multiple ways to play with weapons, you have multiple ways to play through, well, different play styles with the one weapon. Something serious seems to have happened. And the stealth stuff. And the guns. And, you know, choosing your abilities. Oh my goodness. It's full of plants and little birds. <laughs> Abaddon isn't hostile by default. He found free parking and he's willing to fight for it. Merica. He could be a nice guy for all we know. You know, you're right, I think Abaddon's misunderstood. Whoa, hold on, I just noticed something I hadn't noticed before. There was... There was a separate... Oh, hold on, we gotta, we gotta clip that. <clears throat> so, like... Hold on a sec. Okay, right here. If you look... Whoa, are you serious? There is a... The little icon above, okay, so you see on the bottom right where your beta skills are, the little icon for where normally your dash would be, the, the dash attack which is called rush, it's a different icon. So I guess that ability is interchangeable, so I guess holding down triangle would do something else if you equip something else. Because it's still a cooldown ability, like it's obviously going to be like the same kind of function, but it's something else. That's really cool. And then... Above our tumbler on the bottom left where our, you know, that healing item, so like there's the grenades at the bottom and then there's the tumbler above that, and then there's another thing, that cooldown thing, whatever that is, I have no idea what that is. I'm sure that's like a related to burst probably, it might be a burst ability. But then also if you look on the bottom right, there's those three red circles, which is I guess another burst thing, a related thing. So yeah, it's really interesting. You can see though that the burst meter is above the beta meter and it's like the same kind of square setup. And we do know that burst <clears throat> burst is charged up by doing dodges, perfect dodges. Pre-order cosmetic items. Get early access to the items if you order within the pre-order period. Pre-orders end on April 25th, 2024. Yeah, I will get the pre-order stuff, but I'm not getting the deluxe edition. Since I'm getting a physical copy. I love the yellow variant of the red checkered outfit. Yeah, it's nice. And very visible. I'm sure it'd be like good if Eve went jogging at night, you know. It's funny to hear Eve say, Adam, are you listening to me? It sounds interesting coming from Eve. Yeah, I wonder what they're talking about. I think Adam was probably preoccupied in that cutscene. Honestly, the outfit I want to see more of is that blue sweater in the close-up in the trailer. Um, I'm really excited to see that red top that she's wearing in the, the scene where they're going through like that uh, for not forest, but like that garden area. Because the front is really like layered, it looks really cool. The burst skills do look cool. Everything about this game looks cool, that's what I'm saying. I just hope I'm not bad at the game because I want to play this so bad. <clears throat> well, I was extremely bad at my first playthrough, and, um, you know, my early gameplay is just like so- I can't even watch it, it's awful. Um, but, you know, just a little bit of time, because again, like I was, I was saying earlier, this game is not like DMC 3, or 4, or 5 for that matter, where, uh, you know, the skill is execution-based, it's a lot of knowledge-based uh, skill. So, once you learn enemy patterns, you can just parry them. You know, it's not like you're doing- like, just pressing L1 isn't that hard, you know? It's just the timing. Don't have a PS5 yet, but we'll pre-order in a few weeks. Probably get PS5 this summer. Sounds good. You could probably get some kind- if, like, if you're waiting for summer, you might be able to get some kind of deal for... 
I don't know, like if you're getting, if you're in the U.S., like maybe July Fourth, or back to school potentially. I got my PS5. Well, the first PS5 I bought, which was not for me, I got on a back to school deal. It was just fifty bucks off, but it was last year, like towards the end of summer. Yeah, there is also the easy mode that is totally viable because the easy mode basically just buffs Eve. Um, it just buffs Eve's defense. I played through it once on stream and um, and yeah, she gets she gets a lot of health or probably the same amount of health, but like she, she just is a tank. PS5 Pro comes out at the end of the year. That's a good point. If that does happen, like and we get it this year then you should be able to get a good deal on this, the normal console. So that'll be awesome to get more people, you know, you know, able to, able to play the game. Because I don't know how long it'll be exclusive to PS5. It could be, it could very well be exclusive for like over a year. really late so my did my blink didn't go through I'm playing near on easy mode right now again no shame I'm just enjoying it I will definitely go back and play on this normal guy and everything better that's totally valid I mean that game is still really enjoyable even on you know regardless of the difficulty just for the atmosphere the music and all that stuff Anywho, we're just about done with the stream here, I think. Just doing, you know, one more playthrough of this boss. And then that'll be that. No, he ran away, and then I can't cancel that. Out of ammo. How do you get all the skins? Do you craft them? I, I'm pretty sure you do craft them, uh, or you buy them with currency or something in the full game, but yeah. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I'm pretty ashamed, but I also haven't completed Nier Automata, like, completely. I've only done 2B's stuff. I know, I'm the worst. And I do love that game, I just, I don't know, I, I was distracted at the time, like, I wasn't... I was already kind of not playing games as much when I got into that game. Which was like 20, I don't remember, 2017 or something? It's only last year I've left that I've really gotten back into video games. Like, for the longest time, I was just playing whatever the art, like, the new Resident Evil game was, and that's pretty much it.
By the way, right now, I cannot pull my gun out. So while he's doing that animation, you are stuck unable to pull your gun out. Which is interesting. They just lock you out of there. Ow. Why did he interrupt me? I was doing a cool thing and then he's like, up, oh, you gotta do this animation. And it's funny because he pulled me out of my attack, like even in the air. Oh no, he dodge rolled. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, chill. You can see this area opens up as soon as the um, as soon as you kill the boss, so you can kind of just walk back here, and you get to see a little bit more. I don't know if this area here is like an area you actually explore in the game, or if it's just a stage for boss challenge, because that guy you do fight him in like a desert area, which we see from the trailers. <clears throat> Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty good. I think we've done a lot. I mean, I killed all the bosses. I killed all the bosses retribution only. I went through the whole demo basically just doing stealth kills. I've done no damage everything. I mean, all the bosses. I'm not sure what else I can do with the demo, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna do the lore stuff, of course. There's the lore and my review. But then, I don't know what else. Like, what else is left? I just want the game. Because, <clears throat> like, I could stream again, and I would love to stream again tomorrow. But, um... You know, how many times could you guys watch this? I just feel like it's gonna get stale, you know? Of course, once we have the full game, oh man, we're gonna have a lot of stuff to do. Just pre-ordered it? Awesome, congratulations. I pre-ordered mine like two days ago from Amazon. Actually, that is true, Magnetic. It is a good conversation piece. Oh, and that's another good point, um, Arib. I actually haven't done a speedrun of the demo, even though, you know, it's not very long or anything, but I mean, we could do speedruns. That's true, I could do that. You know what? Maybe we'll do a speedrun stream tomorrow. How generous is the window for perfect dodging? Uh, good question. It's... It's not like... It's it's the same window from my experience as perfect parrying. Which is like... It's kind of... Uh, it's hard to compare it to other things because I haven't played Sekiro. 
But um, I think the timing is probably similar to... It's a little bit easier than Royal Guard in DMC3, whatever that's worth. That is a little bit harder for me. Whoa, hold on, that's the first time I've done that. You guys see that? His um, his weak points exposed during the cutscene. That was cool. You know, since the cutscenes are real time. Wow, that's the first time I've seen that. Oh, uh, how far can we get back there? I want to see behind it. No, I can barely see behind it. Mm. <laughs> Can't see much back there. Well, we're here. How do you change hairstyles? We don't know yet, but it's probably going to be from the same little menu area where you change your earrings and your fa your eyewear. Speedrun is in die to the first tutorial boss to skip the fight. Yeah, actually, that that is definitely going to be faster than killing him. Because even if I, you know, even with a retribution which does a t which does a ton of damage on him, he still is like he has a good chunk of health. Hmm. Oh, but the thing is though, uh, Mr. Raindrop, uh, you can still parry. There's the normal parry and then there's the perfect parry. So the window for the normal parry is definitely more generous. And, um, you know, you still don't take any damage or anything. The only downside to doing a normal parry is that you don't get the... You don't charge up your beta energy. It's two things. You don't charge beta energy and then you also don't get the follow-ups because there's a bunch of follow-ups um, to doing perfect parries, which I'll show you here. If you go to your skills, under attacks... No, under survival... There's stuff like this, like this is counter, this is one of my favorite attacks. And you need to do a perfect parry and then you can hold down square and then do triangle for the follow-up. So, so yeah, perfect parry does have its advantages. I really like the music from this, um, uh, this kind of waiting room area by the way. Bliss, do you have Discord? I do have Discord, but I don't really use Discord. Uh, maybe I should though. I don't know. Maybe I should make a Discord channel, like a Stellar Blade Discord channel, because that'd be kind of cool. You know, talk about stuff in there. You guys are talking about music. This is awesome. You were a music major, MM. That's cool. Hmm. Anywho, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the uh, video that I had scheduled for, um, it's gonna be a video on all of the stealth kills, well a bunch of stealth kills, maybe not all of them, but it's a lot of stealth kills from the demo, and also some animations where Eve gets grabbed and, you know, like failing QTEs and different grab animations that enemies can do on her. And it's not that many, it's basically just the bosses and the barnacle that I found. The other ones do not grab you. What are L3 and R3 by default? The default controls are these. These are the default controls right here. I've seen people do a cool backflip dodge in the air. Have you tried it? Well, you can backflip um, by doing a double dodge. You can upgrade your dodge to do a second one. And the second one is always a backflip. It's this. But it's not in the air. I mean, in the air, you don't have access to that. This is this is what the air dodge looks like. And by the way, this backflip only works if you uh, press dodge the second time without a directional input. So, like, if I'm if I'm holding down up and then down to go like you know forward and then back, I get this instead. And then you can even just do two back steps. So if you do back step dodge, it does the backflip. flip. 
Anyway, I think I'll make a poll. I'll make a poll for the on my community tab, and I'll see if people want to Discord. I, I don't know if there's, like, already a Stellar Blade Discord. I have no idea. I'm, like, really out of touch with Discord and stuff, like, and servers. But, um, I could definitely make one. But anywho, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, once I get my stream deck tomorrow and I set up my stuff and I figure out the audio, sorry again about the bad audio this time. It seems to have been all over the place earlier. I'll, uh, I'll do like a speedrun stream, I think. That'll be fun. And just, you know, find a baseline, see how fast we can get it done and then improve. But yeah, that's the stream, so... Thanks for watching. If you're watching the VOD, thanks for checking out the VOD. And thanks for hanging out, everyone. A lot of you guys have been here since literally minute one, so that's awesome. We've been streaming for a little over three hours. <laughs> Do you get to name the splits? Uh, we'll have to come up with some split names. I have to figure out what the streaming split software is. I don't actually know what the... S I have never done speedruns. I've done speedruns, but not with like the software, just like my own for fun. So, I have to download that and figure it out. Alright, have a great night, guys.